Elon Musk's company Neuralink has implanted brain chips in at least 12 paralyzed individuals so they can control a computer just with their thoughts alone. But in the latest update presentation, Elon discussed a more philosophical side quest that Neuralink has in mind to help understand consciousness. The real answer is we don't know what consciousness is. Um, but with uh, Neuralink and uh, the progress that the company's making, we'll begin to understand a lot more about consciousness um, and what does it mean to, to be. I believe Neuralink will help us understand consciousness because they'll have real-time data from millions, billions of human brains. That fleet of brain chips will allow them to rapidly recognize patterns and then help humanity in the quest to uncover what consciousness really is. Does this remind you of anything? There are 10 Tesla vehicles driving along. Tesla is accumulating millions and billions of miles of real-world, real-time driving data. That data then gets processed to create an artificial driver, a digital artificial driver named FSD, or full self-driving. With Neuralink, you could create a digital artificial brain, and we'd probably have more insights into what consciousness is all along the way. Welcome to Neuropod, a channel dedicated to all things Neuralink, Elon Musk's brain machine interface company. I'm Ryan Tanaka, and that clip of Elon Musk indicates where we're at today. When it comes to consciousness, we humans have more questions than answers. Folks look to physics, religion, and speculate on the many ways we could define this odd superpower we all think we have. Where does it originate? How does it emerge? When does it begin and why? These questions have fascinated folks for ever. So it's wild to think that we're almost certainly going to have the answers within the next decade. Consciousness, the hidden side quest along their main quest of helping with paralysis, depression, tinnitus, blindness, and more. Oh, and their even bigger long-term main quest of merging man and machine. Okay, roll the intro. If you're new or need a quick recap, Neuralink is developing a high bandwidth brain machine interface to help those who are paralyzed or suffer from a neurological condition. Noland Arbaugh, the first recipient of Neuralink, has now been living with the implant for more than a year and a half and recently shared how much it's positively transformed his life. As of October 2025, Neuralink has successfully implanted in at least 12 FDA human trial participants. As of July, the team had Neuralinks implanted in participants 8 and 9, Nick and Audrey, on the same weekend, marking their first dual surgery day. On the tech side, they're increasing channel counts from around 1,000 electrodes today to over 3,000 next year and beyond. These channels, or electrodes, are similar to extremely tiny microphones inserted right next to the neurons. But instead of listening for audio waves, they're detecting electrical voltage spikes. Also, as we speak, their next exciting product is helping those who have lost the ability to speak regain a voice. Even more wild is the product coming next year, Blindsight, their visual prosthesis, earned FDA breakthrough device designation last year, and will enable sight for the blind, starting with very basic resolution to avoid bumping into objects and recognizing faces. Eventually, the capabilities will advance to superhuman enhancements, like seeing in infrared or seeing radar waves. While these advancements restore autonomy, there's a deeper layer here, using the technology to explore the brain and unlock the secrets of consciousness. This has been a part of Neuralink's vision since the beginning. Back in 2020, during early demonstrations with implanted pigs, this is what Neuralink co-founder Max and Elon answered. They're wondering, can this device be used to explain consciousness? In the long term, of course. I can, I can certainly shed some light on, on consciousness. So, this, is, this is a really interesting question. I, I think the answer is yes. And I think one of the reasons that consciousness is so hard is because like anything in physics, you're looking at a mapping from X to Y, where X is the neuronal correlate. It's the thing that's happening then physically. And then Y is this phenomenal state. And historically, we've been unable to observe the neuronal correlates very well. And unless it's in you, we've been unable to observe the phenomenal state. So as soon as you were able, neuroscientists are able to personally get these tools where they can see the correlates and they can have the experience, I think the hard problem will vanish very quickly. 
I mean, what I find remarkable is that the universe started out as like quarks and leptons, we'll call it like you know hydrogen, and uh, and then after a long time, well, what seems like a long time to us, the hydrogen became sentient. It gradually got more complex, and uh, and then it, you know, but we're basically you know hydrogen evolved, um, and uh, and and somewhere along the way that hydrogen started talking and thought it was conscious. I like the uh, joke that it turns out that if you bombard Earth with photons for long enough, it'll emit a Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. We've all had endless theories about consciousness, whether it's an emergent property of neural complexity or some spiritual woo-woo. But without advanced tools, it's remained speculative. Neuralink's ultra-thin threads with thousands of electrodes read and stimulate brain signals to give us more real-time information about the brain than scientists and researchers have ever had. By gathering vast amounts of data from participants, they could map how awareness arises from trillions of synaptic connections. Elon addressed this during Neuralink's summer update earlier this year. He spoke about demystifying the brain. But before we get to Elon, are you using AI to ask health questions in the middle of the night? Are you getting generic answers? Or even worse, a flood of confusing possibilities? Me too. Today's sponsor, Linkachart, an ultra-personalized health AI app, pulls together your medical records, lab tests, and data from wearables, then adds that context when you ask AI a question. Instead of vague advice, you get ultra-personalized answers, like what are the best supplements for you, what's worsening your back pain, or even how to improve your brain health. It makes your health questions easier, smarter, and personal. Do me a favor and click the link in the description to pre-order Linkachart for free. No credit card required. Thanks, and back to Elon. Part of this presentation is about demystifying the, the brain. Um, it is a remarkable organ. I mean, we are the brain, basically. When you say you, that really is, uh, you're the brain, like you can, you can get a, a heart transplant, you can get a kidney transplant, but I don't know anyone who's gotten a brain transplant. <laughs> so you are your brain. And your experiences are these neurons firing uh, with uh, trillions of, of synapses um, that somehow lead to conscious comprehension of the world. Uh, this is something that we have only begun to understand. We're really just barely at the beginning of understanding of what is the nature of consciousness. Um, and I've thought a lot about what, what is consciousness? What is it, where does consciousness arise? Because um, if you start at the beginning of the universe, assuming physics is true, the, phys current, the standard model of physics is true, then and you have this uh, Big Bang, the matter con condensing into stars, those stars exploding. Uh, a lot of the, the atoms that are in your body right now were once at the center of stars. Those stars exploded, recondensed. So Elon traces consciousness from the Big Bang, noting how our brain's atoms were forged in the stars. There's no clear moment when it switches on. Pretty spooky and magical, really. But all this uncertainty pairs nicely with Neuralink's capabilities. Consider the practical side. In trials, when a participant like Nolan intends to move a cursor, the implant detects specific neural spikes and translates them. But deeper analysis could reveal the neural correlates of consciousness, the brain activity tied to being aware of that intention. Academic work like UC Davis's 98% accurate speech decoding from 256 channels in 2024 shows promise. With Neuralink's higher channel counts, they could refine this to pinpoint conscious thought versus subconscious processes. As these implants improve, we might explore altered states like dreams, meditation, or even psychedelics. How cool will it be to have a much better, real-time, highly detailed understanding of our brain activity while we're sleeping, while we're sleepwalking, or while meditating? I personally would enjoy knowing what's going on when I'm dreaming while asleep and dreaming while awake. I've heard theories like integrated information theory, which present consciousness as integrated information, while Neuralink could measure this directly. Or panpsychism, suggesting basic consciousness in all matter. Elon hints at this with molecules starting to talk. Now let me share this second part of Elon's clip, 
where he grapples with the unknowns. Um, fast forward 13.8 billion years, and here we are. And somewhere along that very long journey, to us at least, uh, consciousness arose, or the, uh, the molecules started talking to each other. And uh, it begs the question of what is consciousness? Is, is everything conscious? Maybe. It's hard to say where along that line that there's no sort of discrete point where consciousness didn't exist and then suddenly does exist. It seems to be, maybe you have a condensation of matter that has a, a density of, con like, we don't know what, the real, the real answer is we don't know what consciousness is. Um, but with uh, Neuralink and uh, the progress that the company's making, we'll begin to understand a lot more about consciousness. Um, and what does it mean to, to be? This humility is what's so refreshing to many. None of us know, but Neuralink offers a path forward. The team has already started expanding globally, and even more importantly, also expanded the ways they're looking to help trial participants. These range from the focus on speech in the UAE trials, to motor control in the UK, and sight restoration in the US. In August 2025, in response to Galley from HyperChange, he said superhuman capabilities via Neuralink will be a choice, enhancing AI symbiosis. In June, he responded to Beth Jezos and mentioned restoring hearing by directly activating auditory neurons. There is a clear path to restoring hearing with a Neuralink, even for someone who has had total loss of hearing since birth, as our device directly activates the neurons in the brain that process sound. All of the medical applications for Neuralink are why I became fascinated with Neuralink in the first place. But during the several years I've been following the team's work, I've begun to understand how wild the sci-fi applications could get. And maybe that's the main thing I should point out. Elon's recognized from very early on that Neuralink should be started to minimize the risk of AI becoming decoupled from collective human will. But he knew they could solve brain and spine problems all along the way. So the technology the team is building is indeed having profoundly positive effects on the patients. But during the next decade, the world is going to learn to appreciate how important it is to have a device like Neuralink to help us understand more about our own human brains. Understanding consciousness could revolutionize mental health, treating depression by modulating awareness patterns, or enhance education by optimizing learning states. The possibilities are truly endless, as we'll have more and more questions as we get more answers to our current questions. Towards the end of that 2020 presentation, Max shared what excited him the most about the potential of Neuralink. I have, in many ways, a very basic science interest, which is I'm really interested in, in the nature of consciousness. And that's, there's a lot of very silly philosophy that's been written about it over the last thousand years. Um, but I think that it's really, we've been very limited by the tools and our ability to uh, interrogate and, and measure the brain. And as these tools get better, um, it will pull it into the realm of physics. And it's really one of the last big, great mysteries in, in science. If this sparks your curiosity, I wanted to remind you that Neuralink is always looking for excellent engineers to join the team. So if you want to help with exploring the nature of consciousness or help solve brain problems, you can have a real impact by joining. For example, you could be an embedded software engineer on the implant team even if you don't have any experience working with brains before. Check out their careers page to change your life and the lives of millions of others. Please subscribe to Neuropod for more updates and analysis on Neuralink and help me reach the 100,000 subscriber milestone. Maybe even send the episode to a friend. Thanks for watching.